would somebody walk 780 kilometers? Or why would somebody choose to walk 780 kilometers? My name is Sue Kenny, and I am a pilgrim. I call myself a pilgrim because I walked a medieval pilgrimage route in Spain called the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. This pilgrimage route covers 780 kilometers. Sue Kenny is here, and she is the author of My Camino, a true story about the spiritual journey of a woman confronting her deepest fear. You're courageous. <laughs> Thank you. As a pilgrim, Sue Kenny has walked over 2,000 kilometers. Sue is an internationally acclaimed speaker, author, filmmaker, competitive rower, and leadership coach. After a successful career in the corporate telecom industry, she has gone on and written a Canadian best-selling book, My Camino, and her next book, Confessions of a Pilgrim, is now available. Camino, the word, it means the way. So this is my way. I've been sharing my stories with the people here today, and I'm hoping that maybe through my stories, they will be inspired to do something different in their life. I'd spent 24 years in the telecom industry. My boss was right behind me, said, Sue, please sit down. We have something to tell you. And they told me at that moment that my job was redundant, that I was no longer required. A lot of things went through my mind. I thought about who I was. There was this one question that kept repeating itself. And the question was, okay, Sue Kenny, now who are you? Well, whenever I need to sort of sort something out in my mind, you know, what do we do? We go for a walk, right? And I thought, well, I think I'm just gonna go for a really long walk. <laughs> On the Camino, it's customary for pilgrims to introduce themselves by saying their first name only, and then the name of the country that they're from. I looked over at him and I said, hi. I said, my name is Sue and I'm a Canadian. Well, he looked at me with this big grin on his face and he said, hi, I'm Dino, the Greek. <laughs> said to me, so Sue, why are you walking the Camino? I said to Dino that uh, I wanted to figure out what my purpose in life was. I really wanted to spend time alone. Anyway, I said to Dino, tell me, Dino, why are you walking the Camino? Well, he said, the Camino is a discipline. I knew a little bit about discipline because I trained to be a master's rower. And so I started paying attention to Dino. I thought, well, maybe he has something to say. And then Dino said something to me that changed my life forever. He looked at me and he said, you know, Sue, on the Camino, some of us are going to become saints. And I said, oh no, Dino, you've got this all wrong. Dino looked at me and he said, a saint is someone who faces their fear. share with you how I took the experiences of the journey back home with me and made them a part of my life. I came home and ended up completely changing my life. I wanted to live the Camino and the stories and the lessons of the Camino in absolutely everything that I do. I wrote a workshop called Creating Presence to teach people how to be more aware and slow down and live in the moment. I know I'm talking to a group of people who know how to work fast and know how to do a lot of things, but I'm talking about slowing down and being actually more productive. Very, very simple lessons just about, you know, staying focused. I have spoken to over 5,000 people on the topic of leadership. People bring me into their organizations because I talk about leadership as a way of being rather than doing. My approach is founded on a more open philosophy of principled leadership that is based on pilgrim virtues such as compassion, honesty, gratitude, truth, purpose, and love. This approach to leadership is supported by the teachings of great business leaders like Robin Sharma, Lance Sectarian, Stephen Covey, and now Sue Kenny. 
Sue works with a range of clients, including universities, colleges, corporate clients in all sectors, small businesses, and artists. 